Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So I'm going to be showing you guys some competitive games we recently played for week 4 or match 4 I guess, not week 4 of Queso Cup. The standings are going to be right here in front of you. We went up against IX Academy, which is a pretty good team that we've had difficulties with in the recent, you know, past last couple of months. We haven't been doing too well against them. So we're going to show you a replay of some of the games, show you guys strategy, some of the comps we used, etc. So let's get into the game and let's show you guys what happened. So getting into game one here, a big theme that you guys are going to be seeing today is countering the new Stu gadget. As you guys can see, Zara is going to walk up and literally just dash through the wall. I don't know why this gadget exists, as if Stu wasn't good enough to begin with. This is like, you, why? Which is why? I don't know. Just why Supercell? Why is this a thing? I couldn't tell you. But anyways, I'm going to hop on the Rico and I'm going to stay on the right side. Um, they're also going to have a stew, but I think the difference between the comps is that we knew exactly how broken this stew gadget was because we've been playing Power League all day. Um, but I don't think they did, so they kind of just went with the typical comp. Um, we brought the Tara, which isn't really the greatest brawler here, but it definitely is a good counter. No, I was caught lacking over there. I mean, I know it's broken, I know what it does, but I'm still not used to it, so... He was able to get some good work over there on me. I don't think OG's gotten a super yet, but he doesn't really need it. He's kind of just there to counter the stew. Um, so we're capturing that left zone right now. We have a good amount of the right zone, but the right zone is just easy to get. We can just put down the pets and walk forward, and we'll be able to be able to get it pretty easily. OG gets a super. He gets a kill. We pick up a kill. Zar also picks up a kill, and now we're standing in the zones. This is pretty much game. Just need like 3% more on our zone. I go for a fancy clip. Not able to hit it, but that's going to be the end of game one. So let's hop over onto game two, and let's keep going. Going to the next game, we kept the same strategy. We're going to move OG over onto the Rico and me onto Gene. Now, the reason we're running Gene here, which it definitely isn't good on this map. So if you're playing like Power League or something, don't take Gene. Is because we were expecting to stew, and Gene is pretty good into stew. Now, luckily, we went up against Sandy and Gale, which Gene is also good up against. So I'm kind of just chilling in this zone, trying to help out OG, giving him like the 400 heals with the uh, star power that Gene has, kind of just standing here. And Gene can also kind of attack, do pretty well. It's kind of well-rounded here. It definitely doesn't win too hard, but as the game goes by, it's actually not too bad. So we're able to pick up one kill over there with Zar. Batushis is going to pop his gadget, so that's pretty bad news for us. We're going to have to move back. Luki jumps in, gets the gadget on OG, so that's going to give them the right lane. So now they have full control of both left and right lane, which is very bad for us with Frixie. Sneaking down the middle. Don't know how Zar knew he was there, but he did. OG goes for a clip. Not able to get it, but I'm going to be able to walk up. And now that I have super, they got to just get out of the zone. They have to respect the fact that I have my pull and just simply walk away. And that's exactly what Luki's going to do. They're going to try and push me back. OG, or sorry, not OG. Zar asks if I can pull the Gale. So I'm going to move forward and pull the Gale. So OG, not OG. So Zar could get his super and he can be left to a 1v1 matchup with Batushes. Now I went over to Pinch just to help out. Um, but he didn't really need too much help as we have pretty good control of that left side. Now they do have control of right, but we're able to chip it out and just take full control. I'm going to move over to that left side and OG's going to stay holding the right. Um, Zara's going to break the wall. He's just going to dash around, do Zara things. I'm going to go for a pull on Luki. We're going to be able to get it. And we're going to be able to take out Frixie. I think maybe it doesn't even matter. And that is going to end set number one and game number two. All right, so going into the first game of Gem Grab here, it's going to be Hard Rock Mine. We're going to be going in with Pam, Poco, and Stu. Now, this was kind of a comp that we were experimenting with a little bit yesterday in scrims. Um, it had good results. We didn't necessarily play well, but it had good results. And if something has good results, I, I mean YOLO. Let's just try it out. Why not? We were pretty confident going to this matchup anyways. Um, so we're going to try it out. Pretty good start. We're up 4 nothing. although Luki is in our spawn. You know, we, it's kind of all over the place right now. Um, still a decent start, it being 5 nothing. I don't know who the gem carrier is. I don't know what the lanes are. I think we're all just kind of doing stuff. Luki's going to push on to us. I got my turret, though. I have OG's heal, so I'm fine. Unfortunately, though, those kills are going to be in a really bad spot. We're not going to be able to stay out. Frix is going to try and kill us. We're too thick as a Pam, so he's not going to be able to. Petushis here, how much HP does he escape with? There's no way he escapes that. That's so bad. I don't know how he escapes that. If he doesn't, we win the game, but he does escape it. And it's going to be 5-4 now. So although it's 5-4 and we technically have control of the mid, Luki's behind us. There's a Mortis. I mean, their comp is just good into ours. Frix is going to try and make a play. He's going to be able to successfully do it. Um, I think we're going to be able to take out Luki here, but it's not really going to matter because I only have one gem. Luki has zero, and now they have nine, and Immortus is in our spawn. So this just isn't looking good. Immortus is going to be able to chain really easily off of OG because OG's a Poco and can't, you know, just do anything. 
Um, they're going to take the gems and they're going to run away. So our goaded comp that actually isn't goaded clearly whatsoever is not going to work out. We're going to lose game one of gem grab and it's going to be one nothing them in the gem set. So top over into game two and let's show you guys what happens there. So going into the next game here, we're going to have OG on the Mortis. Yes, you guys heard me right. OG on the Mortis. Zara being Stu mid and me being Rico lane. Now the strategy for this game was Stu is broken, Rico is m broken, and let's just have a third brawler that can do stuff. And we decided that brawler was going to be Mortis. Um, OG doing some dashes. He actually almost gets a kill. Luki does waste a stun there, which is pretty epic for us. I have really good position over here on the right side. Um, Zara as well has some pretty good positioning, but we're not able to pick up any gems or actually do anything. Um, they're going to light the fire over there on the right side. Now, that was going to mess me up a lot, but they actually by accident lit that fire. So I'm like, yay, I can go up now. No, there's a gene with pull there. So that's not going to work out for us whatsoever. They get the sandstorm down, 6 1 them right now. So they have really good control. They're going to burn my grass over there on the right. If they kept that there, probably would have been worse for me as I couldn't really step there without getting burned. But they didn't keep it there. So it was pretty epic. I'm going to go for a clip over here on Batushas and Frixie. I'm going to be able to get them about to half. Um, OG now is going to go try and make a play. He's actually going to be able to get some kills and he's going to escape with the gems. So now it's 6 to 3, 7 to 3 for us. I mean, now apparently I'm Rico Gem Carrier. I almost get a really nice super here, but unfortunately the gene has pulled. So if I went any closer, I would have had pulled. So I almost got my super back. I didn't. Zar bait super, which is really nice as it's now 9 to 3. OG's just kind of being a presence over there in the middle. Because he has gems, he can't really go in and give them four as that would change the tide of the game. So, they're going to move in now. I'm going to get a clip over here, I think, on Luki. He's going to go to one shot. Zara's going to go down. I'm going to pick up the gems. OG is going to get a kill. That was pretty scary. OG's Mortis, I mean, it's just a scary experience. I don't know if I want to play with it again. going to get stunned over there by Luki. He's going to get the kill. But luckily, we have OG's just insanely cracked Mortis there to get the kill. He's going to hide in the grass. Gene has pull, so this is technically scary. I'm going to stand here. I'm trying to line up, trying to get like some insane triple super. But instead, they just find out where I am. OG is going to go for some type of base race type thing. He's going to stand in their spawn. And that is going to be the end of game number two. So going into game number three now, I'm going to hop on the Gene. Zara is going to hop on the Tara and OG is going to be the Rico. Again, we're kind of playing with things. We were expecting a stew, so the Gene and the Tara were supposed to be here to counter the stew. They're also going to go Gene and Rico, but instead they go Sandy instead of Tara. So I think they have the slightly better comp, although Tara is really good. Sandy into Tara does really well. And it's going to be a little bit difficult for Zara to get that first super and to start to get things rolling. So he's just trying to chip away at this point, getting card by card, slowly getting his way to super. Me and OG have to be aggressive to start off the game because of this. Uh, Frixie gets his pull early, but I'm pretty sure I'm also very close to my pull, so it doesn't really make a difference. Um, Zar is going to go down. I'm able to get my pull. OG there gets pulled. And so now it's just not really the greatest spot for us. Um, Zar is going to come near me, and I know Zar needs his super, so I'm going to get the pull. But unfortunately, Zar like kind of goes back. My plan was to get Zar the hits. Um, but I wasn't in the VC, or in the voice chat, I should say, because I was doing something at the time, so... He went back, kind of a little bit of a miscommunication there, but it doesn't really matter. As he gets pull here, he's going to yeet it out. He's going to be able to find one kill. Almost says two, but he's not going to be able to get it. Luki trying to be sneak with the gadget. Me knowing Luki, I knew he was going to do that, so I kind of just hid in the corner. Um, I get my pull over here. We're able to kill Luki, and I see Frixie's alone, so I can kind of just walk up. It's not really the biggest deal in the world. Now there, it would have been very epic if I pulled Frixie, but I clicked my auto-aim button. So I kill, so I killed the Rico by accident. Zar goes for a double pull. He is so close to getting it, but Frixie just clips a wall. I'm very close to my pull, so I'm trying to go aggro, get my pull, and then pull Frixie towards me. But unfortunately, I'm not able to get that charge. I think I'm like one shot to it now. Zar is kind of just chaining over here on the Tara, doing insane. Uh, but he's going to go down. I'm going to get my super. Um, and here, it gets a little bit risky. We both have our pulls. We both know each other has our pulls, so it's kind of scary. I'm going to go for the pull on Luki. I'm going to miss. I'm going to go for that pull. I knew he had the pull, so I had to, you know, keep my distance. He misses by about a tile. Um, so I need to get one reset here, and they're going to be able to tie it. So I'm, you know, trying to stay alive. We're able to get them low, which is really nice. Frixie goes down. I pull Batushes. I'm one shot. Luki goes down. That's going to be the end of the gem grab set. Set number two. Two nothing for us in sets. Let's hop into set number three, and let's keep on going. So hopping into our first game here of gem grab, or sorry, not of gem grab, of brawl ball. 
Um, we decided to try out Buzz. Now that Buzz isn't banned in every, you know, competition, we're like, all right, let's give this thing a try. Luki is going to miss the open net. I'm going to do a little bit of BM over there, and I'm just going to put that ball safely into the corner. Now, I have 24 total trophies on Buzz. Not on my mini, but on my main. I do not play Buzz whatsoever, but I've been inspired by a few people, one of them being, you know, Alec26, the GOAT Buzz, of using him. Uh, or not of using him, but to use him. So anyways, I'm trying to figure it out. The new star power is definitely alpha. Um, helps get super a lot easier. Unfortunately, though, they are going to be able to get this goal. I was looking kind of lost. You know, I thought my teammates had it. They didn't. Again, me not being in the voice chat does screw some things up. I'm going to fly forward. I'm going to be able to get a trade, but a trade isn't really what I was looking for. They're going to get double stunned, and Batushes is now going to walk up and try and score. Zarya's going to try and dash through the walls gonna you know get stopped by a wall um so now we're in a pretty you know weird situation here we're down one nothing we gotta try and get a goal og's gonna do a couple dashes again og's back on his um insane mortis i'm trying to look for a play here i'm thinking i can get a goal because the spike is dead and the spike does counter me the other two not so much but not able to find anything there so nothing's gonna happen although i do pick up the ball here and i try and bait like i'm going to the right and then I just shoot the ball to the middle, grapple up, and I'm able to get a pretty nice goal. And I'm going to make it one to one. So game's looking pretty good. I go for like an ego kind of play over there. Where I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm the GOAT. I can hit that. I whiff it terribly. OG goes in, almost gets the triple bats. Would have won the game right there if he did get it. Uh, but he's going to forget to click his yellow button. Now I'm pretty low. Zar is pretty low. This is kind of a wild situation here as I'm just trying to regen. OG's going to pick up the ball. He's going to place it in the corner. He's going to try and go up, I believe, here. I'm trying to find Luki. I'm trying to get like a nice little grapple on Luki. I missed completely there. Trying to guess that he's going to peek out on the left side. It just looked pretty bad there. Um, OG's going to corner the ball, but he is going to go down. Zara's going to go down. I'm going to get onto Frixie. Charge my actual super. They're going to miss. I'm going to get the stun and then get a kill. So we're actually still in it somehow. I don't know how, but somehow we are. Seven seconds left, though, they get a couple kills. OG's moving forward. I'm just trying to lurk somewhere around so I can get my super but not, you know, take any damage. So you guys can see I'm trying to follow them, trying to get them in the edge of my circle. I'm going to be able to get a kill over here, I believe. No, I'm not able to on Luki. And then a pretty big miscommunication here by the team. Don't know what happened. Don't even want to ask what happened. And they're going to be able to score the goal. And it's going to be one nothing for them again in the set. Let's hop into game number two and let's keep on going. So going into the second game here, we're going to go the same comp, but instead of going Mortis, we're going to go B, and we lucked out facing Triple Tank. What are the odds? Um, Buzz also does pretty well into tanks. I'm going to move in. I'm going to be able to get two of them, so I'm just going to walk forward here, put a little Buzz pin, and I'm going to put that ball in the net, and it's going to be one to nothing for us. So it's looking pretty good. We definitely lucked out with the B pick here, uh, but we take those. We love out comping and getting practically free wins. We're going to be able to take out Petushas pretty easily over there. Rixie's going to go for a goal. I'm going to get the stun and he's going to miss the net. So we have pretty good position here. The ball is going to be passed up to Zara. I'm just trying to charge my super. So I'm just standing, you know, in the zone. Zara is going to be moving around. He's not going to be able to do much because they're tanks and he can't just do 8 billion damage as Stu. Uh, but OG slowly but surely is just chipping away. You know, he can do 8 billion trillion damage. So it kind of works out. I'm going to get tossed by the Primo. I'm going to stun the Primo. I don't even know what's happening at this point. Luki's going to grab the ball. He has his gadget. So what he, what happened was he had his super and then he clicked his gadget. So I think he wasted it. And now he used another gadget and doesn't get anything really from it. But the Frank is going to get a stun and put the ball in the net. So it's going to be one to one now but here i get my super i see a tank i get a nice little double stun over there i'm going for another stun able to get it canceling the super og's gonna get the ball he's gonna pass it to czar czar is gonna do a nice little trick shot probably put it in some youtube montage of his it's gonna be one one now in the sets and match point for us so going into our next game here we're gonna be going rico dinah and leon now i went dinah because at this point we were pretty confident we were gonna win Zar apparently called that he wanted it to Dyna, but I clicked on the Dyna first. Therefore, I have the rights by team rules of getting the play Dyna. Uh, we're going to be able to get Frixie low. We're going to get a nice, you know, double kill there. I don't know if it turns into a goal. It does. Never mind. OG gets the kill. I'm going to get past the ball to Zar. They're actually going to waste a pulse. We got some value out of that. 
and it's going to be one to nothing for us. Now, I don't really think my dynamite performance was that great this game. I've definitely seen better performances um, with my Dyna. Zara's going to go down over there. OG's going to go invisible. He's going to try and juke. He's not going to be able to. That's miss stun number one for me. Missing stuns is pretty painful. I do not like it. Um, but it did happen there. That's miss stun number two. Luki's trying to move up. We're able to get a couple shots on him. I'm going to go down. Miss gene pull by Frixie. Zara's trying to make a play. He's able to kill Batushas. OG doesn't know he is there, though. I'm going to try and get the kill on Luki. I'm able to, but like half a second earlier, we would have had it. But Luki is going to be able to score now. Um, so things are tied up. I mean, into their comp, though, we do pretty well. I'm able to take out Batushas. I'm going to move forward with the ball. I'm going to toss it over. I was going to have a super pass it to Zara. Luki read it pretty well. I was going to super pass it again to Zara here, but they kind of had the reads, and then I messed up my pass when I got pulled. Um, so not the greatest, but, you know, we're still in there. I thought I took out Petushas there, but apparently he stays alive because um, the cactus, I guess, dies before he dies. I don't really know how that works. OG gets his super. You know, I'm kind of just standing in the mid trying to get some control. Um... But yeah, we're kind of just moving around trying to do our thing. Zar gets a really nice super there. He's able to get the kill. We're going to move forward. I'm going to super the mid, try to get them. Not going to be able to get any value. And, you know, now we're in a pretty bad spot. I'm one shot. Zar's one shot. OG's one shot. So we got to move back. I believe Zar goes down here. He does. So now it's just me versus two of them. But unfortunately for them, I am Dyna sitting behind a wall. So there's nothing that they can do. OG's going to move back. It's looking like we're going to head into overtime here. And looking at their comp and looking at our comp, you know, it's just... It's kind of just a recipe for disaster. I don't like what I'm seeing here. Frixie has his pull, so we got to be woke of that. I mess up my super. Zara messes up his super. Frixie messes up his super. But we have OG sneaking up. He also kind of messes up his super. Everyone is just messing up their super at this point. It's kind of insane. But OG gets some clips. We have one kill already. I as a dynamite can't really do anything, but Zara's able to get a kill. I get a kill. I flash my super. I get the super pass to me. I pass the ball to OG. Frixie misses like a 0.5 tile pull. And that is going to be it for game number three. And that is going to be it for the series. It's going to be a 3-0 sweep. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, all that. If you guys want to see some more Queso games, I can show you guys the rest of the season. Record it and make a YouTube video. We got three more games. I think we're currently tied in first place. Anyways, it's going to be it. I will catch you guys again tomorrow. I will see you guys then. Peace. So much for pro players.